Troller, uh, Glenn Hager, who says his state is trying to balance this out despite what's going on with oil. And Texas is surprised to be controlled because uh, I would have thought that this would have hit you guys hard. It's not that it hasn't hit you, but there must be something else footing the bill in Texas. Yeah, you know, Texas economy, a lot of people want to talk about the end of last year, early this year. We're going to have a recession back to the 1980s. Texas is not the 1980s. Actually, even in the 1990s, when oil prices averaged in the 20s, Texas grew 3% every single year but one. But and if you look at changed, this right, year, because I can remember covering your fine state in the early 80s. That's right. When all these wildcats were, right. were, were, were merging or going out of business, I didn't hear a very sympathetic but, lobby but on the, the big, part of the, the big difference politicians. between then and today is the Texas economy here where we're at is we're so much more diversified. Now, for Texas and many oil producing states, when the lower price is down, if we go into the 50s, into the 40s, it hurts the state economy, as you heard earlier, that it hurts paying jobs because most oil jobs are higher paying than, right. other, than other sectors. But the fact is, is consumers do benefit overall. If we can find a real sweet spot Look, of the high Technology is a big 70s, area for you guys. I correct. know that. And you're attracting some very big companies. When Governor Rick Perry left, he was yes. always big at trying to woo that business from his Republican and Democratic colleagues. But now are a lot of them saying, despite it being cheap to do or cheaper to do business in Texas, are a lot of them saying, uh-oh. Well, I think a lot, of, a lot of people pull back. They learned from the 1980s. A lot of the oil industry pulled back, as you mentioned just a second ago, with the service industries. There's a potential for more job layoffs. But at least beneficially for Texas, we have such a diverse economy. People can go to work into the trade sectors, manufacturing, professional services. They may not be quite the high-paying jobs that the oil and gas sector is, but at least in Texas, we're benefiting from the much more great diversity than we had in the 1980s. But lower prices, if it continues to go down, down is a major concern for our state, and I think it was ad adequately stated that it's a concern for the whole U.S. economy. Do you ever overall. worry not to play politics with this, but it's always been the wind that Republicans back here, the fact that Texas almost seemed recession proof, even slowdown proof, and if it now is shown that, yeah, it, it can be vulnerable, um, that there could be a, a seismic shift politically in the state. Uh, I'm, I'm not so much worried about that. To me, at least with the controller's office, what are the numbers? What are the facts? What well, are you the guys statistics? Are numbers, and numbers, how to, how to, well, that's what I, that's what my office is, and that's right. what we're about is trying to make sure that we project what the economy is going to be and lay out their accurate numbers. You know, you still have over 500 people move to Texas every single day. And part of that is because it's a business-friendly state. Even now, it's this a, time of year, when it's, it's like it's 200 degrees it's still, and 300% yeah. humidity. Is <laughs> and big mosquitoes. Very big sign mosquitoes. That can the pick size you up of out birds. Of your chair. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Miniature birds, but Miniature still they're birds, big. Yeah. But the fact is you have a lot of people move into the state. And in part of that is because of the, the business incentive type driven economy that we have. Well, it's a beautiful state and it's a, a great state. Just, you know, in the summertime, a little bit. A little hot. A little, a little hot. hot. All right. Very good. How you control it. Thank great you for taking you. the Thank time. You, Neil.